All right, I have seven out of 15 done. And this time around, we're going to be doing brass and copper and then steel and aluminum. All right, the first one is uh, copper and brass in sea salt. 0.02 adding power. Oh, she's going to keep on going, huh? All right. I'll disconnect it. All right, it's on to the next one. All right, Coca-Cola, 0.14, adding power. All right, just disconnect. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is a good matchup. But the first three tests, I don't even like anyway. Not until we get the chlorine. Anyway. Peroxide, 0.17, adding power. Ooh. Let's turn her up a little. Well, you can get anything you want out of this one. All right, removing power. Good. All right, chlorine. All right, disconnect and power. It's not going to be good. Potassium chloride. I mean, uh, potassium hydroxide. Power is added. And if these are anything like the other ones, um, I'll be coming back on it. I'll give it a few minutes here. All right, she's slowing down. Disconnecting power. Well, yeah, this probably isn't going to be any good either. All right, coming back on the potassium hydroxide. She's over two volts now. And the amps started dropping also. Um, it was putting uh, 1.85 amps in, and as soon as it hit uh, two, it started dropping. So I think she's steady now. It's probably been about, say, three minutes. I'm going to disconnect the power. All right, this is looking like the best one so far. And I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna put a load on it. See what she does. We'll see what she bounces back on. All right, loads on. Okay, it's gonna slowly shoot away, so. I'm going to remove the load. And she'll, well, she might climb back up to, well, it looks like that's going to be a, about it. All right, still, doesn't seem to be good enough. 
All right, sodium hydroxide or lye, 0.25, add in power. And if this is anything like the other ones, it's probably gonna hold still around a volt and then take forever to get over two volts or a couple of minutes, I should. Yeah, it looks like that's gonna be the case. But I'll just come back. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. The amps are starting to drop. And this one does look kind of cool too. It's getting a little cloudy, but let's see if we can zoom in here. Yeah, it's getting a little too cloudy to see now. It reminds me of that battery. Um, Overvolting it. It's making all these little bubbles. Anyway, let's see what she's at. Alright, still 216, 17. Disconnecting. Huh, she's holding pretty good. Getting ready to snap a load on her. All right, we'll put a low on her and see what she bounces back to. I'll let her go down to uh, a little over a volt, maybe. All right. Load's off, by the way. Oh, she's not coming back at all. Well, on to battery acid. All right, battery acid. Adding power. I don't think she's going to climb too much higher. Disconnecting. Yeah, horrible. All right, now we're on to aluminum and steel, and the first one is sea salt. Add in power. Okay, disconnecting. All right, no good. Coca-Cola, adding power. All right, disconnecting. No good. All right, peroxide, adding power. Same scenario. Get anything you want. All right, disconnecting. Yep, no good. All right, chlorine, adding power. And I cannot use the hydroxides again with this because of the aluminum, so we'll be finishing up with sulfuric acid. All right, disconnecting. Alright guys, I've been having some problems on this very last test and I had to take this apart because it seemed like uh, the plates were touching and the polarity got reversed, which doesn't make any sense because right now the positive plates are the steel and the negative plates is the aluminum. So as you see, I'm going to show you what happened. Okay. I'm going to hook up these leads, and you'll see this has a, okay, 
it's set up right. It has a positive charge. Okay. Let me switch this on to... All right. I'm connecting them. No beep. The plates are not connecting. They're not touching. You know, otherwise you'd hear that beep. For example, let me touch both of these here. Okay, you hear it beep? Okay. So watch what happens when I put it in the acid. When I put it in the acid, the polarity is going to reverse, and then the buzzer is going to sound as if it's connected. All right, it's going in the acid. All right. Let's see if the buzzer sounds. Okay. Buzzer sounds. So it's saying the plates are, well, connecting enough where it'll trigger that. But anyway, let me switch it over to volts. If I can get this on here. All right, it has a negative, a negative charge. Now it has a negative charge. So let's just test this anyway. And I'm going to assume positive is still positive and negative is still negative. Even all right, so now we're all hooked up here. And you see it's negative 0.27. So let's add some power, see what happens. Okay, now she's correct. You know, when I did this with soda, soda's considered an acidic. It didn't reverse the polarity on them, but the sulfuric acid did. I found that really strange. All right, this isn't really taking a charge, so I'm going to let this run for a few minutes. I'll come back. And this is uh, acting just like when you overcharge a battery. It's the same thing. All right, and she's still not taking a charge. So let's just disconnect her, see what happens. And she goes right to negative. Right, let me short out the cell. And she wants to stay negative. I actually charged this up in reverse too, and it didn't do anything uh, special. Actually, I'll show you. Let's charge it up in reverse. All right, positive, here we go. Connecting power. Okay, she'll climb. Okay, remember this is reversed. I should actually switch these around. Here you go. Let me switch them around real quick. All right. I just switched the terminals around. All right. And when I disconnect her, Goes right back down. So I guess it doesn't matter. Backward or forward, it's still not good.